set out to paint a scene. My goal is not to record or document the scene, but to capture the emotion of the scene so that when I finish the painting, the viewer can look at it and be involved in that world, the world that I saw and that I created because I felt something about the scene and that by viewing the painting, they'll feel something too. Hi, I'm Carolyn Hesilo and I'm here painting at San Alijo Lagoon in North San Diego County. As you can see, it's rather overcast, it's warm out, but um, I liked painting at this lagoon because it's a little oasis of open space in a large metropolitan area. So we don't have all that many in San Diego, but if you go outside the county or in the back country, you can find a lot. But, but this is, you know, surrounded by urban sprawl and, and we have a lot of estuaries that are really beautiful to paint. Um, this particular estuary is nice because it offers a lot of variety of compositions and that's what draws me here. from California and I've lived here all my life. I do think that California is the richest state in terms of variety of different landscapes. I mean, we have coastal, desert, mountains, forests, redwoods, marshlands, we have everything here. So there's such a rich variety. You can never see it all, you can never paint it all, so it's just an endless stream of great potential and I love it. I love all regions of California and I love painting in all parts of California. I almost never use a camera when I'm outdoors painting in plein air, if I know that I'll be painting boats at the harbor and there might be some future painting there, I can use photo references and I'll bring a camera for that on purpose. But if I'm just going out to paint a painting, I don't rely on a camera. So when I bring the painting back to my studio, I want to make sure that I have all the information because I won't be looking at any photographic reference. And the other thing is that sometimes I will use a plein air painting to make a larger painting. Um, it's a good practice because you have um, the memory of the scene that you've studied so well. You, you're very intimate with the scene and, and completely engaged with it. So um, you have the memory of the scene plus your composition now, your study that you've already done. And really the decisions are all made with the plein air piece. So for instance, even if you want to use a photo for a studio painting, um, it's great to have a plein air painting in addition or instead of because you're making decisions about the composition and the values on, on, the, on the plein air study. So this is, this is a very good um, way to achieve um, a, a studio painting, especially a larger painting of something that you've already done outdoors.